everybody. It's DJ Envy, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Our co-host B. Scott is here. Yep. And we're opening up the phone lines, 800-585-1051. We were talking about something we've seen in the, uh, Business Insider, where they're saying the majority of Americans now think a college degree isn't worth it. And they said 56% of Americans now say a four-year college degree isn't worth the cost. And I was saying that uh, I got my degree, of course, from Hampton University, HBCU. Shout out to everybody, all the Hampton alums. I would say I think that students should take some time off before they go to college, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, when I went to college, and as most students go to college, a lot of them go to pass. They just want to get their degree and get out. Uh, and I, that's what I did. I got my degree and got out. But now realizing there are so many classes and courses that I should have really listened to because it would have helped me in, you know, in life, in life. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, and I wish I could go back to those courses. And I tell my daughter, who is in NYU now that, you know, take those classes serious. Just don't study to pass, study to actually learn mm -hmm. whether it was accounting, whether it's business, whether it's marketing and management. Now, I didn't get my degree in communications. I got my degree in marketing and management, which I use in my career because I, I, I always said I was going to have money. Uh, going into high school, but I just needed to know how to keep it, how to invest it, and that's what college taught me. But there was why, so tell, many... why tell kids to take time off? Why not tell kids what courses they should take? Uh, because I think they got to figure out and learn what they want to do. You mm -hmm. know, I think if you take that time off, maybe jump into the workforce a little bit, then you can really understand what you want to do. Because most people don't know what they want to do. They go college, they go to college, and just try to figure it out. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because you know I tell my daughter, my daughter's fourteen now, she's a freshman. I, t I tell her now that um, you know, even if she doesn't know what she wants to do, even she, even though she does. Mm -hmm. I think going to college is a good thing to do until you figure it out. To explore. Because, yeah, because yeah. you're not wasting time. Like, at least you'll have a degree after those four years. I didn't go to college, you know, mm -hmm. even though I am a doctor, an honorary doctor from South Carolina you State. You bought that, but I didn't go to college. But <laughs> I'm just saying, I feel like that four years is, is it's a good way to uh, uh, deal with your time. But you take be productive classes with your and time. courses that you don't know. Like, my daughter went from real estate to, mm -hmm. be, she wanted to be an attorney, then she mm -hmm. went back to real estate. So she doesn't necessarily know. Mm -hmm. um, well, what do you think? I mean, I can only speak from experience. So, you know, I went to the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was something that was definitely needed because mm -hmm. it gave me a basic working knowledge of the world. And I feel like a lot of people could benefit from that. Mm. I do believe that just knowing just fundamentals of just like photosynthesis or just like certain things just allows you to appreciate things in a whole new way. Right. And I do believe that you should use college, as you were saying, Charlemagne, to kind of explore mm -hmm. because that's what the general requirements are. So the general requirements are all over the place. And as you explore different little tastes of things, you can then say, okay, I want to go deeper in that. That's right. And that becomes your major. Mm -hmm. And my fear is that if they were to take time off and they go and work, then they're going to start getting real life responsibilities, mm -hmm. which means you buying stuff with the money that you're making at this job. And so that means you've got to keep that job to keep these things and it prevents you from ever going back. So the only thing about exploring is you're exploring by paying a bill. Like you look at certain colleges of forty, fifty thousand dollars a year and you're exploring spending money and might not you might be taking the wrong classes that you don't like. Like there's a lot of people that are six year, seven year college students because mm -hmm. they started thinking they want to be something and then they wind up figuring out like, that's not what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And then by the time they graduate they have three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars worth of debt that they gotta pay off and now it takes them 12 years to pay off. But I like what B. Scott said, though. You know, if, if you don't go to school, you probably get in the habit of just working. Yeah. You know? And, and I also think that sometimes you can tell it, like, when people just don't have a basic knowledge of stuff. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, oh, okay, I get it. You mm -hmm. just, you, you skip some courses. <laughs> 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 well, let's go to the phone lines. A lot of people are on the lines. Hello, who's this? Hey, good morning. This is Bernard. Hey, Bernard. Good morning. Talk to us. All right, so I just wanted to touch on this. I work um, out of college uh, for about 11 years. And so when it comes to the affordability, colleges are very expensive, but it's also public schools that are much more affordable. And in some cases, you qualify for like Pell Grants, you could actually do an entire um, bachelor's degree for free without paying anything out of pocket. Mm -hmm. I it's usually when we get to those master's degrees and graduate programs or those private schools, that folks are paying a ton of money and not really seeing that return on investment. Okay. I, I will say that too. You know, the, the bad thing, and, and this is why we always talk about, you know, free education. Uh, my mom worked extra hard and my dad worked extra hard to, to so that I wouldn't have huge college bills when I mm -hmm. graduated, right? I think they paid like 70% of my college tuition and I had to pay 30% when I graduate. So for me, the biggest thing for my kids, I have six, 
is to make sure that you have six six kids oh wow i have a 21 18 9 8 6 and a one-year-old that's impressive but for me <laughs> i want to make sure my kids don't have any college bills mm -hmm. so i work extra hard to make sure when they graduate Absolutely. they start from zero yeah, you do have to work extra hard mm -hmm. with six kids yeah six kids <laughs> <laughs> that can only imagine you're almost like a nick cannon no you guys need six more i would, i got one wife and, and okay. all my kids are from one woman. Okay. That, is, that is true. That is true. You know, you know what else with college though that I don't hear y'all talk about enough. Don't you learn other things outside of just getting a degree, like meeting people, networking, that social was a, skills. Yes. That was another thing. You know, me coming from New York, all I was about was New York. Mm -hmm. But when I went to college, I had a roommate from Mississippi. I had a roommate from Ohio. I had a roommate from New Orleans. I had a roommate mm -hmm. from Jersey. So it opened me up, me being, you know, doing music mm -hmm. to all those different areas and music and things like that and in most cases it's a safer environment to explore different things and learn how to interact with people mm -hmm. than the real world right. so it's like a buffer it's like a step right before you on your own and that's why i'm not knocking these people who said it wasn't worth it to get a degree but are you just uh equating worth to monetization because yes. i'm sure you probably got life lifelong friends like my yeah. wife has her two best friends are from college. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've been friends for 20 plus years. And I also think that Three you touched on something that was powerful. You said in terms of a lot of people go to college just to pass. Correct. It's about why you are there. But if you're there right. to learn and actually get something from the experience, you're going to have a different result than someone that's there just to pass. That's true. Too. Like, I didn't want to go to college, right? I, I was a DJ. I wanted to do music. But in my family, I was the first person to go to college in my family wow so my parents were like no you're going like mm -hmm. they wanted me to go to Morehouse and I was like Morehouse is too far like they wanted mm -hmm. me to go so for me it was I was doing it more for them than mm -hmm. for I'm myself be honest with you, you're not a Morehouse man you went Hampton it was good for you I'm a Hampton man, sir. Yeah, that's yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you know. I, yeah. There's nothing wrong with being a Hampton saying, man. Sir. I, can, I, mean, I can call some of my Morehouse people. You can, say, you do you think Envy's a Morehouse yeah, man? You, you can call him if you want. No, but I, I, I thought I, that, I thought that Howard was that, the, the sure real issue. Hampton. No, how? Oh my God! <laughs> I'm about to fight you in here. I'm about to. I'm about to fight you in here. <laughs> my money on B Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fighting my whole life now. Five eight five one zero five one. We're talking about colleges this morning. Now we were saying a majority of Americans now thinking think getting a college degree isn't worth it. What are your thoughts? They're saying 56% of Americans now say a four-year college degree isn't worth the cost. Let's talk about it. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Call me. Get your opinion to The Breakfast Club top. Come on. 800-585-1051. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We have our co-host B. Scott here. Whoop, whoop. Now, we're talking uh, a majority of Americans now thinking getting a college degree isn't worth it. Now, you went to what school? Carolina. Carolina. You got your degree? I did. Okay. So In psychology. What were your thoughts on going to college? Have you learned a lot of the things that, you know, that you learned in college? Do you use them in quote unquote real life? No. I, Damn it, man. I think that what college did for me is just gave me a way of thinking. It gave me a basic knowledge that I use in everyday life. Do I remember the ins and outs of all the particular courses? No. But I do remember the basics of how things work. And it also showed me that if I do this, I get this. I do this, mm -hmm. I get this. It was my first time of being like, I can put in the work and I get a certain result. Mm -hmm. And that translated to my life. Mm -hmm. Like I now know if I put in the work, no one can touch that. Just like no one can touch my degree. But I do feel that colleges need to change the curriculum a little bit. Yes. I think and, there's and a lot of things that we should learn, whether it's investments, whether it's accounting, whether it's taxes. Uh, a you know lot they're of doing that in high school now. My, da my daughter's school has had a financial literacy class. I love that. Yeah. And I love that. Real estate, things like that. I think they should be teaching us in college now. And college should be free. It, I should, it should be like other countries. You can go to college for free and you don't have that debt at the end but i also believe there's a lot of financial aid mm -hmm. there's also different scholarships grants that people can apply for mm -hmm. especially minority students mm -hmm. well unless the supreme court does what they're going to yeah, do yeah that affirmative mm -hmm. action thing yeah yeah well let's go to the phone lines hello who's this this is preston hey preston good morning where are you calling from oh i'm calling from the capital city of michigan okay what's up preston now what's your thoughts on college you think it's worth it or not yeah I, in simple words yes Mm -hmm. Talk to us. Um, to kind of expand on that, I, I think there's a big misunderstanding that just going to college is going to make you rich. Correct. And that's just not the case. Going to college is in furtherment of your studies. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and, the, and a lot of people actually who go to college don't look to uh, make a lot of money. They just look to do something they want to do in life. That's yeah. true. 
But I also would say this too, and, and, and like Charlemagne said, and a lot of these schools, once you change the curriculum, you change the mind frame of a lot of the way that people think. I think a lot of times colleges uh, teach you how to be a worker mm. and not an investor, not an uh, entrepreneur. And like even with my daughter's school now, like they're teaching them how to be entrepreneurs. They are encouraging to sell bracelets and sell certain things and design and make things. So what that is, I can see my kids already being entrepreneurs and talking about business and how much this costs and how much is the investment how much do you make back so i think the curriculum really needs to change I, in a lot of these I colleges i guarantee that for those people the 42 percent if you ask them why they think it's not worth it they say it's the debt mm. mm -hmm. i bet you majority of them say it's the student loan debt and one thing we didn't talk about too is that um i know they did this a lot at carolina is the internships so i will only have access to those inter internships by being at college mm -hmm. so during the summers i would be doing internships i would uh -huh. be exploring once again before it became real i think that's whack but that's that's the truth because even here you have to be uh, enrolled in college to do an intern at the breakfast club. i'm only a radio personality because i was allowed to do an internship in 1998 at z93 jams in charleston south Damn, carolina yo. before they was a, before you had to be in college to get one. But, oh. but, but I thought you were about to say before there was radio. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, that was the 1900s. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> but uh, like you said, yeah, but think about it. Somebody now who probably came up the same way that you did wouldn't get a chance to nah, do an internship right. and wouldn't be able to do radio because they are not enrolled in college. Absolutely. Which is stupid. All right. Hello, who's this? Hello? Hello? Hey, what's your name, bro? Hey, this is Andrew from Philly. Andrew, what's up? Talk to us. What's your thoughts? Long time listener. Um, I actually agree with you, Andy. Uh, I got my uh, BA, and um, when I got out of college, I remember going to a job interview, and the first thing they said was, what was your job experience? And I was like, I just got out of college. I don't have any. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I didn't get that job, and actually the job that I got was making pennies until I got more experience. Now, the current company I'm at now I've been there for over 10 years. I actually started listening to y'all around the same time I started the job. But it was a fight to get the position and then even get, you know, in salary increases for the company. You know, just having a degree, when you walk in the door, don't necessarily mean you're going to get a good position. That's true. So it's just, you know, you, you go to college and you spend all this money. I got a house that I'm not even living in that I'm paying for right now. And it doesn't pay off financially. When you have those loans on your on your credit, right, and you're not making the money that you think you're going to make when you go to college. That, that's why I said I right. told you I, I guarantee if you poll those 42 percent of people who say college degrees aren't worth it, all of them say it's because of the student loan debt. But I will I say this you. too: for I would say probably 30 percent, 40 percent of the money that I make is from my HBCU brothers and sisters. The networking. Like, yeah, yeah, the networking. Yeah. Like, you know, somebody that works at, let's say, Pepsi, and they hire me for something. Or somebody that works for AT&T or somebody that works at State Farm or HBCU Go. It's a lot of my brothers and sisters that went to HBCUs, whether it was Morehouse or Clark or uh, Spelman or Morgan State or that other HU. Now I'm just joking. Howard or Hampton. <laughs> Morgan Like, all of them, I get money from them. That's what I said. It's about we keep the money around, yeah, which is dope. My wife, her, her three best friends. She, she all she met him at the University of South Carolina. They best friends now. They were her bridesmaid in their wedding. So that's got to be worth it, right? Yeah, the alumni. Yeah, yeah. alumni. Yeah, alumni association. I yeah. mean, even even our boss up here, Thea Mitchum. Of course, she went to Hampton University. Yeah. Hello, who's this? Hello, um, my name is Cheyenne. Hey, Cheyenne, where are you calling hey, from? Cheyenne. Uh, I'm calling from Lafayette, Louisiana. Lafayette, okay. Louisiana. Talk to us, Mama. So honestly, in my opinion, um, I did go to college. I actually went to a technical college. Mm -hmm. um, I had went for EKG and phlebotomy, and just that alone, it was fifteen thousand to eighteen thousand dollars for a nine-month program. Um, so, for me to pay that amount and then to only get a paid the amount that I had did, it just wasn't worth it. Right. Now, I do feel like getting general studies is worth it because, like y'all had mentioned. They have time to figure out what they want to do as long as they have the general studies done. Because um, in my opinion, unless you're not like unless you're going for like a doctorate or a lawyer or a nurse or like a bachelor's of science, then honestly, you're paying thousands of dollars and it's not you're not even going to get what you paid for. Right. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like my fiance does construction and he gets paid a lot of money and he didn't even go to college for it. So, I mean... 
Yeah, but I will say they this though. Depending on what he does in construction, that construction job, I'm sure, is beating his body up. You know what I mean? If if he's lifting, yes. if he's working, and, and a lot of the times, you know, for yourself, your body won't be beat up like his. But you don't know? you still gotta go? You still gotta go to trade school or something for construction, right? You still gotta get some type of certification, right? Um. Well, what he does, he doesn't need it. I guess it could be all about connection. Mm. You know, um, the construction world, like here in Lafayette, there's so much to do, and he he works with so many different companies, and he even started his own business. Now to have his business. He did do uh, business classes in high school, and I think that's very fundamental, you know, for people who would like to potentially have their own business. Right. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's all about connections in the community. You know, if you are good in one thing, you, you get your name out. But um, from what I have seen, they have not had to get, you know, like a certification or something like that. Okay. Right. But I would say, you know, and Charlemagne and I talk about this all the time, that sometimes it might not be college for you. It might be trade, trade school. Trade school, man. And shout out to Lincoln Tech, uh, who, who's a trade school that, that sponsors us. But, like, even with Lincoln Tech, they have, you know, healthcare. They yeah. have uh, mechanic. They have uh, HV, uh, what is it, uh, Aaron HVAC. Back, uh, HVAC. They have all those classes where people can learn that. So you don't have to go to a four-year school. You're just going to school to learn those things. And those are big business. And, and they even have, like, I, I've been trying to get them to do uh, – which is really big right now. If you buy a car, whether it's a, a, a Honda or a Mercedes, they have the cars come wrapped so oh. that if a rock hits it or something like that, it doesn't damage the car and it, it, it reduces your insurance. So a lot of people are paying for that too. And I think those are good places if you don't know what you want to do or you do know what you want to do and don't go to want, want to go to college for four years. So I think the moral of the story is school is worth it. College is worth it. I think so. I think so. Or, I, think uh, so. I feel a little bad. Though. I hit two of my Morehouse partners that asked them, could DJ Envy have been a Morehouse man? One said, yep. The other one said, hell yeah. We know 300 light-skinned Negroes from New York. The other one said, he would have been our version of DJ Cannon and Drama. Yeah, well, shout out to well, shout, Cannon and Drama with the clock. So shout mm -hmm. out to Morehouse. I actually got accepted to Morehouse. My um, my uncle's, uh, well, my cousin's a professor there. And I love Morehouse. I love, shout out to all those brothers out there. Well, you didn't strike me as a Morehouse man, but they said they're very diverse. They said they have every type of uh, Negro from Theo Huxtable to, Huxtable to the Wire Corner Boys. Great. Well, I, I don't think you'd have been a Morehouse man. I'm, I wouldn't have been a college person. I think you're more like Morgan State. South Carolina State University. Mor Morgan State. No, South Carolina Mor State. Morgan State. I have an honorary shame. doctorate from the South Carolina I think Morgan State. State. I don't know anything about Morgan State, but it sounds like you're this not going to be allowed shame, to go there anymore. No. I, need, I need a gavel. Shame. <laughs> 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 now, I went to visit Morgan State when I was looking at HBCUs, <laughs> and I, I remember me and my dad walked up, and they were uh, playing dice on the... On the, on the Morgan State. Yeah. Damn, wow. Morgan State. Some mm -hmm. brothers from Morgan State just looked up from their dice game today and said, man, how you going to diss us like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got rumors on the way. These guys, what we talking about? Yes, we do. Um, I don't have in front of me what we're going to talk about, but I think it's something related to what's happening in prison in um, <laughs> Georgia. Yeah, like the two gangs. There's oh, two. YSL and uh, YSL. YSL. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll get into that next. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.